In this tutorial, I will show you how to use this software to produce a morphing effect. Insert your two pictures. For best results, make sure they are exactly the same size. Keep the small window for the preview in the middle. Click on the yellow arrow for the preview. As you can see, the speed of the preview is really too fast. Click on this button to change the period. Instead of 20, choose for example 300. Start the preview again. The transition from one image to the other is slower. To start working on the morphing, reduce the size of the preview window. If you want to, you can also reduce the size of your pictures to work more easily. In my example, choose 100%. You must indicate now to the software how to move from the first picture to the second one. By manually creating control points, the software will know how to move from the first picture to the second. Click on the green cross and then click on the left eye on the first picture. On the second picture, a control point appeared on the left eye as well, but not at the right position. Click on the black arrow to correct the position of this point. Click once again to confirm. Do the same thing for the right eye. You must do the same thing for all the main points of your picture, the mouth, the nose, etc. The more points you had, better the morphing result. If you make a mistake selecting a point, click on this button, then select the point on the picture you want to delete. You can zoom on your picture to exactly position the points. Let's speed up the video for the other points. In this example, the morphing starts from the picture on the left side to the one on the right side. Go to Morph to reverse the effect. To save your project, go to File, Project. Save as and give a name to your project. To export your project, you can choose Flash, Video or GIF. To make a video, choose AVI, 
give a name to your video. Choose the frame rate, for example, 25. Next, you must choose a compressor. Depending on your computer, choose the best one. Maybe you will have to try several ones before getting the best result. Click OK. Depending on your project and your computer, the export may take a long time. 